Hello my dear dear friends, welcome back. Today I thought I would give you a different view and we are having a scenic view of our garden. That is my shed. Uh, but if you look out onto the horizon over here, um, it's the start of the Peak District. So I thought I'd share the view with you all today. Um, hi to the channel, hi to everyone that is new. I hope you're good, that you had a totally blessed week. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, if you haven't watched me before, uh, my name is Ali. I'm a psychic medium um, and we do tarot on this channel. I also do psychic readings as well. So um, at the moment, I'm currently on maternity leave. I had a little baby in November. Uh, he's six months old now, um, but I'm on maternity leave till August. So at the moment, I'm only working one day a month. Now, the working day I have this month is on Friday, 27th. So if you want any email readings doing on that day, Drop me a message at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com because I will be doing email readings on that day. Video readings are fully booked for uh, May and June and I have a couple of spaces left for July if you want them. So if you do want to book a video reading, I have a space spaces in July. Email readings I am doing this Friday. So if you want them and you want you, the answer back to you on Friday, do get in touch ASAP. Okay, spaces again are limited. Um... So what else is new? I'm going to Witch, Fair this, Witch Fest this weekend. Uh, it said last week that those of you that don't know, I am Druid. Um, I'm part of Obod. Um, and so I'm seeing some of the, the more legendary Obod people there, like Christopher Hughes, who did the Celtic Tarot deck. Uh, Dav the Bard, who is one of my favourite pagan musicians. They're all going to be there, um, along with a lot of my friends and other people uh, doing a lot of talks and presentations. It's literally around the corner from my house. I live in Stoke-on-Trent. So if you do have tickets, come and say hi if you see me there. Um, that's about it really. Hunter's good, he's super good, six months old. Um, trying to crawl, not succeeding very well, rolling on his tummy, doing really well. Um, I'm doing good, no other news really. Back to yoga like I said to you the other week. Um, and I'll miss when I get back on the channel, I will do more regular readings for you. Um, I love you all to pieces. Have a totally blessed week. Um, enjoy the weather in England. Very cloudy. You see how beautiful that sky looks. Very cloudy, very rainy, very rubbish, but still very, very beautiful. Um, have a totally blessed week, guys, and I will see you next week. Many, many blessings uh, and ciao from us all. Bye. Hello beautiful souls, I hope that you have had a totally blessed week and you are rocking and rolling on this fine, fine day. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is what are their thoughts about you right now. I just had to read what I've written. Um, and I've got two decks for you to choose from. And it's quite interesting that being drawn to the very pretty backgrounds. So we have the slow tarot, um, which is this one. They're both independent artists, so this is slow tarot. Um, very very pretty and then this one is my new deck and it is the Victorian Romantic Tarot and I just have to say I love it because of the box I'm sure the box is just is absolutely beautiful but it's based on a lot of romance stories uh, like Dante and Beatrice etc etc so it's a really beautiful beautiful deck um I've also been drawn to pull out this Iris Oracle deck for you today. Now, I don't tend to use Oracle decks, uh, but sometimes Spirit draw me to it. And I've been working with Rainbow Energy today, um, hence um, Iris, Arco Iris, as we would say, but Iris in, in British, Rainbow, Arco Iris. Okay, deck number one and deck number two, pick your deck. Slow Tarot, Victorian Romance Tarot. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Deck number one. So, let's see what spirits say, see what the clouds say, and see what comes up for you all. So, just going to go into your person's energy, think about your person for me. Going to get into the collector's thoughts and feelings, um, the person's thoughts and feelings. Yes. Okay. And let's go. So, I'm just going to pull five cards. My guide is saying five, and that is where we're going to go. So, here, let's do this. Can I have five cards, please, for what is their person, the person that they are thinking of, what is their thoughts right now about those watching? Like it. This deck is just beautiful. There's puppy dog. Four. Five. 
five. Okay, you're going to quite like these cards. Um, so, as you read tarot, we've got the devil card. It says temptation on here. It's the postie. Uh, you've got the page of swords. You've got the ace of pentacles. You also have the ace of wands. And you have the three of cups. So what is your person's thoughts about you right now? So this reading is kind of separated into two parts. You've got the temptation side of thing, you've got the devil card, and um, you've also got quite a lot of watching on social media, internet-based energy coming forward with you guys. And then you have this new beginnings, okay? So the new beginnings based on stability and new beginnings based on passion. So you've got a bit of a mix-up happening in your person's energy and what they are thinking of you right now. So let's start off over here with these two. It looks as if your person has been watching you on social media. Um, or communicating with you through the internet and they are really into your energy. They really like you. Um, they see you in a very sexual connection, very sexual drive. You are almost kind of um, in their thoughts to a degree of obsession, Spirit is saying. Um, and I just got to dab the bard song then with uh, called Obsession. And they're thinking about you a lot. And this is where this kind of, I'm really watching what you're up to on social media is coming forward. Very strong like I said, very strong passionate energy, very strong sexual energy between you both and a bit of an addiction energy going on over here. Um, up in communication, if you guys are not talking, it does look like as if your person is going to start communicating a little bit more with you and um, potentially communicating about how they are feeling sexually towards you as well. Uh, there is a very big focus on the chemistry that the two of you share. The devil card is often the reverse of the lovers. So the lovers, if we're going to look at it, would be love and happiness and passion, um, love and happiness and, and a good, strong relationship. And um, the devil kind of looks at the darker side, like the passions, the shadow side of love um, and that coming up in your energy. Spirit also saying to me with these two cards that your person can has been, can be a little bit once bit and twice shy. So you might feel that they are coming and going from uh, with you a little bit. They'll give you a little bit and take it away. Um, reason for that is because they've been hurt in the past and that's the once bit and twice shy energy coming over that. Um, with that energy coming up, I'm also getting the song Think Twice, just another day for you and me in paradise, okay? So your person is really into you. It's just a very strong sexual desire with you guys. Then, I mean, you couldn't place it any better, could you? You've got these two new beginnings. So a new beginning based on stability, on security, on family. Um, the key on this, okay? So it's all there for you for the taking. The Ace of Wands, again, is a very strong and passionate energy between you guys, the sexual energy, this um, the sacral chakra energy. Now, the sacral chakra, obviously, as a woman, um, will ignite the womb space, and the womb space is the, the uh, yara of creativity, okay? So these two cards coming up together is that you've got all the creative potential for the two of you to move this forward. You've got very strong sexual desire, sexual basis for you guys to move it forward, but you also have stability that comes from that. So what your person wants over here is these new beginnings with you. Very strong focus on sexual desire, but also a strong focus on stability. Again, obsession coming forward. We also then have the three of cups at the bottom. So this is your celebration. This is you guys meeting up, talking, seeing where things go between you guys. Um, also with the pink roses at the top, you've got this focus on unconditional love. Um, very strong bond with you both. It's a really good card. Um, Spirit also saying with that, your relationship doesn't always meet the box. It, it, you know, it's not always how society dictates your relationship should be outside the box sorry <laughs> in the box your relationship isn't always how society dictates it to be and that's what makes this relationship so unique between you both as well the energy and the romance between you guys is intense so what your person is thinking of you right now if we put all of that together they've got strong passionate desires for you they've got strong indicators that they want a connection for the future with you they're seeing you as the temptation of their life we know that they are having a bit of obsession over you you're in their thoughts very domineering in their thoughts you've got social media internet based energy coming forward with that watching what you're up to um, and then celebrations and parties so wanting to ask you out wanting to go on a date wanting to meet you at social events um, really coming forward you might find that your person does disguise their emotions through the the um world of social things so they might say oh you know there's this party at this date do you want to go 
that coming up with you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to pull you an oracle card. Um, as I was going into this Iris deck, or Iris, um, at the bottom it says, I love you. Okay, so quite important energy over there when we're looking at you. And then to begin with, you do have this love energy coming up. Um, and I have been drawn to that in the box for deck number one. So let's just see, can we have an oracle card for what their person is currently thinking about them? What are their thoughts right now? That's good, huh? The sheep who wandered and found a different shepherd. Okay, I like that. I'm going to get three, actually. Cosmic exploration. And let's get one more. The hold. Okay, so when we're looking at these three oracle cards together, and this is why I love this deck, they're not very generic cards, um, or oracle cards that are generic drive me mad, um, this deck is not generic at all, again it's an independent artist. So the sheep who wandered and found a different shepherd, so this is again talking about social events, okay, um, perhaps you and your person have been meeting up in a friendship group or things like that, and this is talking about your person wandering off on their own to find you, okay, really really into you, um, they're taking a step back and like I said they're not following the mainstream and you know how people say oh you're following your sheep your person doesn't they do stand out on their own um, and they can make up their own choices and decisions about you and them so that's what this one is so they've got that energy coming forward you've got cosmic exploration might be a little bit interested in the divine for some of you guys um you have got a more spiritual connection going on with you both um really good and then over here you have the hold okay and when we're talking right at the start again about the obsession and desire that they have for you this is them uh, sorry you having a hold on them and that's going through their thought process as well so the current thoughts on these um that they are really into you that you know the relationship doesn't fit the mold but they really like that about you and they know it's something that has got a more divine connotation because they very strong united energy with you guys and the hold over here that you have got a hold on them and that my love is deck number one okay guys deck number two so as always this works on the strongest mutual energy between you and um, as i said at the start this is a very very romantic um nice deck i'm like i'm missing with that nice romantic deck for you and i just absolutely love the box so we're going to work on yours and your person's energy so i need you to think about your person for me as i connect in with them and their overall energy for you and let's have a look at what are their thoughts right now, right at this second? What are they thinking about you right now? Let's see what we've got for deck number two. Whee! This deck is just so beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the colours on this, but um, the energy on this deck is just absolutely gorgeous. And they, they're so gilded. They shine beautifully in the light and under the studio light as well. What are their thoughts right now? Three. Okay, so the first thing that Spirit are saying as we're stepping into this energy is the words indecision. Your person is stuck a little bit between their head and their heart, and I'll show you why in a second. We're stuck a little bit with the head and the heart and the reason why for that is you've got your ten of swords over here and you have your ten of cups over here so your swords is very much of the mind energy it is an air energy um and the cups is very much of the heart energy a romance energy a love energy with the ten and ten this is an ending and a new beginning okay so your person you might have found with them they've been a little bit distant or a little bit here and a little bit there not particularly giving you what it is that you want or you need one second it's like all is go all full steam ahead let's make this work and the next second you might feel like they've been pulling back um, and you guys watching are probably feeling as if you have been pulling your teeth with them um on occasions you're probably feeling a little bit lost a little bit betrayed by them um but um oh shit who sings that that song that says you're like a shadow on me all of the time. I can't remember who sang that. I 
I can't remember, I can just hear that one lyric, you're like a shadow on me all the time or something like that. So your person, even if they're kind of withdrawing and you might feel like they're letting you down, um, the shadow of you is there, okay? So you aren't out of sight, out of mind, you are still very much in their energy. Um, their emotions for you can get uprooted in, in turmoil. Um, when things don't go how your person is anticipating. So what spirit mean by that is your person wants an easy life. <laughs> they like an easy life. Um, and when they feel that you and them get close to one another, your person has a bit of a panic and a paddy work and their emotions go absolutely everywhere. And again, this is where the Ten of Swords energy comes in and you might feel them withdrawing. Um, the reason why is because they are into you. Like I said, they are into you. But when you get close, they panic. They panic they're, they're like oh i don't know i don't know i don't know and um, what do i do over the situation let's have a look why they panic why does your person panic so much when you get close to them or when they allow you into their heart you know? and i have to say it that way really um because your person is the one calling the shots so the reason why they panic over it at this moment in time your person is kind of working out what it is that they want um you guys can sometimes see red flags with your person. I know. You can sometimes see the red flags, but at this moment in time, you're probably finding that they're a little bit pink because they haven't been that bad. <laughs> you know, that perhaps the flags are a bit pink. It's a little bit of a warning sign and you, you guys are kind of thinking, do I tread this path? You know, is it going to be treacherous or is it going to be okay? Um, page of Cups over here. So when we're asking why your person withdraws, you've got this... Um, worry from them you've got this immaturity coming forward they're sometimes acting like a child and um, the relationship is very new to them or the feelings that they have for you are very new and they don't really know how to handle it um sometimes they can find it very very intense and um, potentially they've been hurt in the past and they've got this this wall up this guard up and um, and so when you get close to them they did push back okay and it's because of stuff from the past and this is where these endings come in and these new beginnings okay so 10 10 remember when i was getting divorced and i got in the got in my car and uh, i was just about to end it with my ex-husband and it said 10 10 in the car endings new beginnings end of the end of the road really but also a potential for the fresh start and this is where your head your person's head is really messed up you know the head and the heart are really conflicting with one another now, where we go from here, um, we've got the moon and two of wands as your next card. So it's really important for you guys to pay attention to your intuition. Um, so beautiful, aren't they? Really important for you guys to pay attention to your intuition. You've actually got all the tools needed to make this relationship work if that is what you want. But it's going to be a case of perseverance because your person isn't going to have a personality transplant. It is hard work and I do feel this kind of weary feeling in your energy, in your in your stomachs that you don't really know, you know, is this something that you want to carry on doing? It feels as if for you guys, like maybe you're torn between worlds and you're like, well, they're not giving me what I want. Perhaps it's just, you know, two shirts passing in the night and we're not meant to be together. Um, that's where you are feeling. But you're obviously feeling a lot more emotions than that. That's just it summarised in short. What your person is thinking about this is they are seeing you in this very intuitive energy. They are seeing you in this very psychic drive, this very, you know, moon energy, cyclical energy. They feel as well with the cyclical energy, and it is coming up on you, these cards, this cycle going on, um, that you won't really wander that far. So it doesn't really matter if they play silly buggers because you will still be there waiting for them. OK, that's coming up the cycle energy Um, two of ones, the thought process behind it. OK, so they do think about you. As I said, they've got that song. You're like a shadow on me all of the time. I can't remember these things. That's going to drive me mad now. You'll all know it. You write it in the comments if you do. Um, This thought process on it all this cycle energy happening with you um, and the wheel okay there is an emotional energy here but your person is just guarding it now what else coming from this situation in your cards you have your six of one so you have your victory over here so it, like i said if you can persevere with the situation and persevere with your person's quirks and the way they are and the way that they are acting then the road ahead looks more positive but it's hard work okay it's not a quick fix it is 
hard work. You have to go at your person's speed, unfortunately. And some of you guys, you might feel that speed is the speed of a snail. Um, and like I said, your person's got that indecision of following their head, following their heart. You are going to feel like you have got whiplash at this point in time. Victory can happen. OK, it can happen, but it is a lot of training. Um, my partner, the, the horse on here, the white horse, um, he's from Brazil and he, he lived on a farm in Brazil. He trained this wild horse it's called Angel. OK, and the, the horse was white and just like the horse on here. Now, Angel had an attitude. Angel didn't want anyone to ride them. <laughs> Angel was kicking off and having um, a lot of aggression. Okay, and it got to that point that me, uh, my partner, he had to work really, really hard with Angel um, and they became really good friends in the end. And Angel was the only horse that, um, sorry, my partner was the only person that Angel allowed him to ride. And again, it is this case of perseverance. Okay, just throwing that story in there for you. The case of perseverance with the connection. If you persevere with it, it can work out for you. And that's why Spirit are drawing us to that beautiful story of the horse. So I'm just going to pull three um, oracle cards for you to match up with this for your person's current thoughts. The Heart Eater. You might feel like that at the moment. Smother. My spirit, uh, spirit guide just said, tread carefully, little ones. Try not to, you know, just keep your wits about you with your situation. You don't want to end up um, with this kind of volcano tornado situation. And the reason I'm saying that is you've got volcano over here. OK, so your three cards, you've got the heart eater, you've got smother and you've got volcano. And this kind of really summarises everything that we've said about them. Your person at the moment with the heart eater, you are feeling that they are hurting you and you are feeling that they're not giving you what you want um, and you're feeling that perhaps they're taking an advantage of the situation with you, okay? Advantage of your emotions um, because of this backwards and forwards motion, okay? And that's what this card is over here. Then we have Smother, um, which when they act like that, you're going to want to message them and call them and see what they're up to, see what's going on. And that can then create these volcanoes and it can create those explosions between you guys because they will feel a bit of panic that you um, that, that they are overwhelmed with the connection. So when they do back away it's really important that you do give the situation space and you give yourself space it doesn't mean it's not going to happen and like i said perseverance is key over here and um, if you can persevere with this it can work out um but when they do back away let them wander okay um because they will keep coming back to you they're not just going to wander and disappear um but they might go quiet for a couple of days and it's going to give you that panic in your in your heart and panic in your chest and um, but they do come back round Okay, and this is where the cyclical energy is coming in. Kind of a bit like the cycle has got to break for you guys to progress this forward. And it can do. But the best advice spirit can give you over here is these cards over here. Um, when they do start, you do start feeling hurt, try not to smother it and take a step back and focus on yourself to avoid these eruptions. So when we're looking at your person and their current thoughts about you, where they are right now as we're looking at this, we have the balancing and imbalance of the head and the heart energy. We have this, I don't want to appear vulnerable, so um, when you do get close to me, I'm going to push away a little bit. You've got um, the cycle energy that it's been going on around and around a little bit. Also with that, with the moon card over here, Spirit is saying sometimes they can be freaked out a little bit by your divine energy because you are a um, powerful entity. Um, and they can sense that, they can feel that. So that energy coming forward as well. But they do think about you. You are a shadow on them all the time. And um, they can't easily break away from this connection. No matter how their actions might appear otherwise, they haven't stepped away from it. And I find that really interesting as we move on forward. Um, potential for you guys? Yes, absolutely, with your victory over here. Um but it depends on your level of what it is that you want and how long you're willing to to wait this out with them and that is step number two okay guys quite a heavy energy for that might want to go get yourself a glass of water salt sugar or water for step number two quite heavy uh take a breather don't need to react anytime soon just relax with it and go with the flow um 
you know my grandma always used to say to me if you don't know what to do at this moment in time don't do anything until you do know because the answers will eventually come to you and that's step number two all right my loves have a blessed week ciao